Would I rank LeBron over Kobe in terms of best of all time? No. There's something about five that beats three. Now, he may be better than that, but Kobe won five championships. LeBron won three. Kenyon, do you agree with Jordan? What do you think about this? I can't agree with that statement. Okay. Um, I understand it, but I can't agree with it because does, does that mean that Robert Ory is greater than you, Mike? Like, if you're just going on championships or Bill mm -hmm. Russ or any one of those Celtics that's, right. that played on <laughs> those teams. Um, I consider Michael Jordan to be the best of all time. I respect his opinions and whatever he – with the game of basketball, you have to bow down. But with this one, nah, I just – I can't give him that. Um, just solely on championships, no, nah, I just – no, nah, I can't. Okay, so you disagree with his logic, yeah. but do you disagree with his point? I understand it. I understand Kobe it. over LeBron. Yeah, I'm 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 team Kobe. Ooh. But Ooh. that's just me. I played against both guys. Um hmm. more Kobe being in the West, um, seeing that firsthand. Um taking nothing away from LeBron. But um I'm team Kobe. Because just mentality. Yeah. Um, he's the closest thing, in my opinion, to Michael Jordan. Wow. And that's why Michael says that, because they because neither guy can do Le uh, LeBron is better all around than all Definitely. both of them. Definitely, um, both of those guys are mainly scores, and and for and but to say because he has five, so with Russell having eleven and mm -hmm. Sam and Casey Jones yeah. and and Havlicek having ten and eight, eight, does that make you better? You just can't base it on ring. It's got to be a total body of work. Definitely. You got to look at the MVPs. How many times did he lead his team and scored? How many final MVPs did he got have? How many All NBA teams? Yeah. If you factor that in. If you realistically factor all that in, there's no way you could say Kobe Bryant is better than LeBron James. No way. Because he picked up his career in 2002. Now, the man came to the league in 1996. <laughs> yeah. So we just don't, those first seven years, because go. he had those with Shaq, we ain't going to talk about those. We ain't going to talk about that. But what about that, what about that period he's so great? What about that period between when Shaq left and when Pau Gasol got there? Tell me what it was like for Kobe, uh, Skip. What do you mean, what it was like? He, he won two more rings. Is that it, what, that's what it was in, like? In between Shaq leaving mm -hmm. and Pau Gasol arriving, mm -hmm. what was it like for Kobe Bryant, Skip, if you don't mind me asking? He led the league in scoring twice. And what did he get him, Skip? You tell me. You, you, Skip, I don't know. Your researcher did it. Don't do that, Skip. Why <laughs> you do me like this, Skip? <laughs> I'm just asking you a question. Yep. There was a period of time in which Shaq left and went to Miami. And before they pulled out heist job of mm -hmm. stealing Powell Gasol for Kwame Brown. They did. What was, what was going on? What was happening in Kobe? I mean, I think there was a period in there he missed the playoffs, and he, twice he didn't get out of the first round even after having a 3-1 lead. Can you expand on that, Mr. Bayless? There were coaching issues and all sorts of... <laughs> there were. Hold on. So let me get this... Phil so... Jackson was ripping Kobe. Hold on. So let me get this right. His book. Michael Jackson had Phil, Jack... <laughs> Phil Jackson for the better part of his career. Kobe had Phil Jackson for the better part of his career. LeBron James had Paul Silas, had uh, Eric Spolstra, had Tyron Lue, David Blatt. So which one of those guys are Phil Jackson? Mm. You got some glasses, Jenny? Yeah. None of them. Okay, uh, teammates. Which one of those guys is a Shaq that LeBron's played with? No, nah, no. Nah, nah. Oh, okay. Mm. No further questions, y'all. You, you are spitting into the ocean that was Kobe's career because it was a Pacific Ocean that could just overwhelm you because, as Kmart just pointed out, the closest thing to Michael Jordan we have seen was Kobe Bean Bryant in killer will, in, as he called it, mamba mentality, in mental toughness. It's why the GM's poll from 2002 to 2012, for 10 straight years, the GMs of the NBA voted Kobe as the guy in the league they, once, that they most wanted to have the ball in his hands at the end of games. LeBron was in the NBA starting in 03, mm -hmm. so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all those years, LeBron wasn't voted the guy because everybody knew LeBron wasn't the guy you wanted to have the ball at the end of the game. LeBron actually needed a closer. He needed Kyrie Irving to be his closer. So he's disqualified because we have Mamba mentality versus a LeBron James who had to leave Cleveland to join forces with Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade. 
And in their first finals together, LeBron melted down on the national final stage the way we've never seen a superstar melt down. The chosen one became the frozen one. Would that have <laughs> happened to Kobe Bean Bryant? You know and I know, game over would not have happened. <laughs>